Hello, and welcome to Philip Brown's Computer Networking Lab. You're watching the instructional video called BGP Fundamentals. We have looked at a number of routing protocols. Now it's time to look at the routing protocol responsible for path selection on the Internet. BGP is responsible for connecting many individual computer networks. In other words, Verizon Internet Service has its routers and switches, which make up an autonomous system. And so does Sprint and Roadrunner. The Internet is connected in such a way that Verizon networking equipment might be connected to Sprint's. And Sprint's networking equipment might be connected to Roadrunner's. So if a Verizon customer wanted to view a website from a server that is on Roadrunner's network, they might have to go through Sprint's networking equipment. In the next few videos, we're going to be using the diagram shown to display our internet. The Verizon is shown in green. The Sprint is shown in purple. And the Roadrunner is shown in yellow. The Verizon Autonomous System will be using the EIGRP protocol. It will also be using the Autonomous System 7000. And we'll have public IP addresses 70.0. We didn't have to use 7 in order to indicate Verizon. But it makes it easier to see when we look it up in the routing table. Also for Sprint, we're using OSPF with the autonomous system of 8000 and an IP address of 80.0. For our Roadrunner, we're using the RIP protocol and autonomous system of 9000 with 90.0 as an IP address. Notice that these systems are connected by ASBR, which are Autonomous System Border Routers. This is a breakdown of how IP addresses will be used in the coming videos. We'll have public IP addresses, private IP addresses, and loopback IP addresses. The public IP addresses are the addresses given to Internet Service Providers customers. The private IP addresses is used internally by the Internet Service Provider and is practically invisible to the public IP addresses. The loopback IP addresses are being used by BGP in order to have a single point of contact for BGP to connect to in order to exchange routing advertisements. Notice that all the public IP addresses are using BGP. That's so that they can go from one network to another network, like from Verizon to Sprint to Roadrunner. But the private IP addresses use internal routing protocols such as EGP, OSPF, or RIP. BGP is only interested in public IP addresses, not the private IP addresses. BGP has a large number of commands, but some of the most common ones are routing BGP, which puts the router into BGP configuration mode, network mask, which selects which routes are going to be advertised, the neighbor remote as command, which initializes the neighbor relationship with another router. The neighbor update source command, which chooses the interface for sending and receiving advertisements. The neighbor EBGP multi hop command that allows an EGP router to connect to an interface that it's not directly connected to across an EGB line. And the neighbor next hop 
filth which allows other routers to identify EBGP router that's needed to reach routes outside of the autonomous system. An important concept in BGP is that if router A advertises a route to router B, router B cannot then advertise that route to router C. The reason for this is it might cause a routing loop. Router A will have to advertise the route to every single router in the autonomous system that it belongs. This is very difficult when you have thousands and thousands of routers. You would literally have to have neighbor statements on each router for all the other routers within that same autonomous system. This problem does not occur for routers that are in two different autonomous systems, only for routers that are inside the same autonomous system. In other words, router B can advertise to router A, and router A can advertise to router 1, and router 1 can advertise to router 2, but router 2 cannot advertise directly to router 3, that same route that it learned from the Verizon network. It would have to have a neighbor statement linking router 1 with router 3. In future videos, we're going to look how we can create logical full meshes using route reflectors and confederations in order to manage large groups of routers. In this video, we have looked at the concept of how BGP connects many different networks so that a person in one network can communicate with someone in another network. I hope this video was informative and I thank you for viewing.